uh, South Cooking Lake, uh, Collingwood Cove. Under Strathcona County Review is future expansion of county hamlets. As demand for residential land grows, so might the future of currently tiny Strathcona communities. Uh, they're focusing more to Sherwood Park, the area surrounding Sherwood Park, and the hamlets such as Cooking Lake across the lake, our Dross and Josephburg. Under the new uh, plan and the area structure plan for South Cooking Lake, I believe it could be up somewhere around five, 6,000 people. So it's a huge increase. Decades ago, the shoreline at South Cooking Lake extended right up to here. This was a boat launch. Now the lake is some hundreds of yards north of here. And while this lake may be disappearing, not necessarily is the future of this region. The hamlet of South Cooking Lake, I think, becomes very attractive because you've got the infrastructure in place. You have your water, you have your main transportation routes, and it's zoned for that. And it's still within easy access. You're within 20 minutes of Edmonton or Sherwood Park. Along with that potential, the historic Cooking Lake Airport continues to grow, originally dependent on lake water. Cooking Lake Airport uh, was founded on the shores of Cooking Lake, which back in the 1920s was actually a huge resort area. It was commercially fished, um, you know, big resorts with uh, lots of folks coming from the city. Even with lake levels down 12 feet from its heyday, the airport is thriving. The paved strip is where most of the growth and development has been over the last uh, 25 years or so. And of course, with the city centre airport closing last year, we've seen a, a really big spike in, um, in aircraft moving out here looking for a new home base. Our mandate out here doesn't include ever becoming a scheduled air service type of airport. Our, our vision is to continue to be a, a small aircraft, you know, some corporate air charter, air taxi, private recreational type of an airport. They include two flight schools and four maintenance companies. Cooking Lake Airport is the region's largest industry. Flyers buy their hangar properties. There's 75 hangar lots, we just added another 20. Uh, so the tax base out here is actually quite substantial just from property taxes on the airport. So you know, we've actually got enough room in the land on the airport to maybe develop another 50 to 75 hangar lots. Uh, you know, we don't need that right away, but you know, 25 years from now, you never know. So while Cooking Lake itself may never regain its once pristine glory of 75 years ago, the region remains attractive for new reasons. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.